Today, I bring you a new build that gives you top tier DPS output while at the same time rocking six skill tiers with overcharge and armor on kill as a cherry on top. Let's do it. Entering dog zone. So this is built around the mechanical animal and thanks to Project Resolve, they gave the future perfection talent a really nice buff. A lot of you already know this by now, but weapon kills grant one skill tier for 19 seconds and that stacks up to four times. Before it was only three times. So now you only need two skill tiers on your build in order to achieve six skill tiers and to get the overcharge that happens from Future Perfection also. And that overcharge lasts for 15 seconds and has a 90 second cooldown. And getting two skill tiers on your build isn't that hard to do. You have options like the Ninja Bike Backpack, the Memento, of course, Technician that gives you a free skill tier and or just putting one skill tier directly on a piece of your build. Not to mention you have two pieces of Brazos and now three pieces of Palisades if you decide to do it that way. And a lot of the player base is already aware that four red cores on a build is really good DPS. So taking off two weapon damage cores on a DPS build that is already strong, a top tier DPS build, something like Strikers, isn't going to impact your gameplay performance. And so that's the magic of this build is that you can basically have your cake and eat it too, all by changing your choice of assault rifle. So I know the mechanical animal, which is based off of the SIG, isn't everybody's favorite, but it's not bad, is it? The DPS is respectable and it's got a pretty decent RPM, but the handling and the RPMs get much better when you combine it with Striker. So that is sort of the fix for it. Now, I even like it more with the Umbra Initiative setup. If you haven't tried that, I'll be putting one of those builds together too. That's a really good setup for the mechanical animal because it makes it fast with a 30% reload speed. It's a beast. Okay, a quick break to walk you through this build in full. So this is the mechanical animal, 828 RPM, 50 in a mag. I'm running an 8X scope here that is optional. I prefer 8X scopes on my assault rifles. If you don't do this, I recommend this C79 scope. It gives you crit chance, but it also has a variable zoom factor. We got crit chance here and I love the Omega suppressor. I put it on just about everything in this game. It gives you 20% stability. I'm not usually impacted by the optimal range, but if you don't wanna run that, you can run crit damage or crit chance here. And then of course I got the bigger mag and I'm running the Nexus skin, which I thought was pretty cool. And then we have damage to targets out of cover, 2.2 second reload, and of course, future perfection. So as a backup weapon, the rock and roll, I'm not really using it much. It's not very difficult to maintain these stacks on this setup. I decided to go with technician as my specialization for the skill tier, but I also really wanted that additional damage to robotics that it gives. Felt like that just made me feel really strong in legendary content, just cutting those tanks down, those warhounds, just obliterating them. I did try gunner also, and you can get some more armor on kill that way, as well as ammo. And that's helpful. So I went back and forth, back and forth, but ultimately decided on technician because I feel like that makes the build more flexible to different content doing it this way. And that's ultimately the purpose of the build. So what I really wanted this build to do is be flexible to play in heroic as well as carry the player into legendary and not stop there, but to help that player be the top damage and death dealer on the team. And fear not, this build gives you all the tools to do that. Now from there, it's gonna come down to skill. You have the best damage setup in the game, including the striker backpack and one of the strongest chess piece talents in the game. All the red cores and crits that you need to be successful. So from there, play smart and you will own it. So we're running four pieces of strikers, weapon damage and crit damage and crit chance. This is basically the formula. The backpack's important. It's increasing the amount of amp damage we're getting per stack. And then we get crit damage and crit chance. Eckers also gives you weapon handling and rate of fire. Super helpful. This is a point and shoot gear set. So it makes it very easy to use. And because we're not modifying anything here, it's also very easy to farm. Striker is gonna come all red for the most part. So it should be pretty easy to slap this together. If you're a brand new player, 
this build is for you too. You might yet not have everything I have included in this build, but you can still mash something together. Okay, so let's get into the waveform holster. So this is giving us a skill tier, skill damage, and skill haste. So skill damage and skill haste is not something I was actually looking for, but it's for sure helpful, right? And we needed the skill tier anyways, and so that's why I decided to go with the waveform. And the alternating current gives you 30% skill damage that teeter totters between both your skills, and we're running two damage skills, so that's pretty helpful. And I like this better than the Picaro's holster because that's not doing much for you here. We need the skill tier. If you ran the Picaro's holster, you'd have to run two pieces of Brazos, and then you'd lose your armor on kill. So that was an ideal as an alternate setup i did run the death grips on the gloves instead of the waveform it wasn't as helpful to have an additional 10 percent armor on kill as it was to have more damage coming out of that skill plus we needed the skill tier anyways for the chest piece i'm running palisades that's our survivability add for 10 percent armor on kill i have armor armor regen crit damage crit chance and obliterate now i love focus and i would normally choose this chest piece over obliterate obliterate's great though but for longer more difficult content like legendary focus just brings a lot of additional damage and since you're putting out so much fire on bigger and tankier targets that additional damage really comes into play but obliterate got a nice buff it holds its damage longer now for 10 seconds versus five what it used to be so this is a really good talent it's just that you have to load up on a bunch of crit chance to make sure that you're achieving the damage so this chest piece isn't perfect. I would recommend crit chance instead of armor regen. And if you can, I would actually put a red core there. That's a little bit of a unicorn to get everything on this chest piece in order to roll it into a red core. But that's the one we're all looking for. But the armor isn't going to be super helpful for legendary content. Whether you're running 875 or 1.1 million, it's all the same. The enemy's just going to take it away in a couple of bullets. So it's more about the armor on kill than anything. For heroic content, yeah, you might as well have the armor core. So it's fine there. But either way, I want that crit chance. So I have a striker drone here. Remember, these are two skill tier setups at its base, but the gun is going to push that to six plus overcharge. Overcharge is nice. 175% damage plus 560 health. So pretty darn powerful. For stats, we're at 51% crit chance. That'd be higher if I had to write stat on my chest piece, but I don't. And then 67% crit damage. So try to get your crit chance as close to 60% as possible. And also, so I chose to have 30% headshot damage instead of 5% crit chance. If you're new to the game, I get that you're probably not going to have the named item or the exotic yet. Everything else you should be able to farm in either the summit, the open world, or countdown. Looking for targeted loot that's either striker or palisades. And if you're farming for the mechanical animal, countdown drops tons of named items. Good chance you're going to get this weapon just by going in there. Otherwise, set your targeted loot to assault rifle and that will increase your chances of getting the mechanical animal. It's one to have going forward. So new players might not have the waveform yet. So you got choices here. You can put the striker here and then run a coyote's mask. You can run two pieces of bellstone. You could run the Picaro's holster like this. And that way you're getting your weapon damage and the skill tier with a little bit of skill haste. That's probably the best alternate there. But I would keep the armor on kill. So don't get rid of your armor on kill. You're going to need that. I mentioned that I did run gunner and I went back and forth from gunner and technician. But I think technician is going to give you the broadest sweep when it comes to type of content you can gauge with using this build. Thank you for hanging out with me today. My name is Tuxedo Bandito and this was another episode of The Division 2. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to ensure you don't miss out on the fantastic experiences waiting for you in the division two and if you like builds like this check out the recommended build video i have here for you if you have anything you want to see covered be sure to let me know in the comments below and thank you to all the channel members and donors who make everything possible tux nation wouldn't be without you Follow me. I get it.